Good morning, my beauties. So today I am going to be shooting a video, as you can see, of a makeup, hair, outfit of the day tutorial. Backstory. Today I am going to hang out with my boyfriend. We're going to actually go out today, do some stuff. Hopefully the weather stays not raining because I am not going to do this hair and makeup for nothing. So let's get right into it. next is to do your makeup but I suggest eating your breakfast before your makeup in the morning <laughs> some moisturizer on and in this case I will be using both the Mineral Fusion Intense Hydration Face Cream and the Neutrogena Healthy Defense Daily Moisturizer since the Neutrogena Moisturizer actually has SPF 50 and the Mineral Fusion does not. I am using the 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup in Light Medium. from a water bottle onto the palm of my hand is because I didn't want to walk to the bathroom to dampen my beauty blender so yeah <laughs> cream slash primer, I next use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Under Eye Concealer. After lining and dotting it all over your under eye area, you just want to pat it lightly with your beauty blender to make sure any other gunk or lines disappear. So next I use the L'Oreal True Match Face Powder in the neutral hue in the color N5 True Beige. Plus you can't go wrong with using a super inexpensive elf brush. Next I use a pressed powder 
powder by Wet n Wild in medium. I use this as a sort of highlight powder for my under eyes and anywhere else that needs brightening and after contouring to clean it up. After applying the powder, I wait a few minutes before dusting the excess off with my full face brush. Pretty much like you would with that banana powder people use, but yo girl cannot afford that right now, so I gotta settle with this. Then I use Kat Von D's Shade and Light Contour Palette. So in the back of the palette, it says the names of the colors I will be using, but it's a little confusing to read since I don't know which order it's referring to. If you have one, you might know what I'm talking about. So I use a combination of the lighter and medium shades. blush powder in the color Romantic Rose. Next I use a bronzer powder by Rimmel called Natural Bronzer in the color Sun Bronze to give my face a little more pop of a smoother tan. Honestly, this change in weather and sun exposure over here is playing with my feelings. And like I mentioned earlier, I go back with my pressed powder to highlight and clean up my contour. So for brows, I use the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the color Chocolate and use an angled brush, again by e.l.f. And along with that, I used the Brow Wiz by Anastasia in dark brown to line up my brows. And to finish it up, I used the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara in the color Deep Brown. to the shape that you want. You then go back with any type of brow pencil to just fill in lightly any of the sparse areas. And then you go ahead and use the brow powder to fill up the rest of the brow. I go back with my concealer to define any messes under the brows. I end up using my Sephora foundation brush because that's the only brush that has a finer tip at the end, but it works. I've been so busy, but I've been thinking about what I want to do with you. I use 
use my two favorite mascaras, both by Rimmel. The one I'm using now is the Lift Me Up Wonder Lash with vitamins and cucumber extract, I'm guessing. And the Scandal Eyes Flex Mascara in extreme black in both. You gotta admit, I think all of us make very funny faces whenever we put on mascara. So next, the hair. I use the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Protective Spray. I had already sprayed that on my hair before this clip, aka when my camera had died. <laughs> but after spraying it, just brush your hair thoroughly to evenly spread the protective throughout the ends of your locks. So a quick and easy trick I use to make my hair appear fuller and more texturized, especially now that it has gotten pretty long. Halfway to straightening, I curve in my straightener to give the ends a little half curl. But be sure not to twist your straightener all the way around or else you just end up with multiple small curls at the end. creating a combination of a fishtail braid and a dutch braid. I don't know, you'll see the results here of what I'm talking about and I'll show you step by step on how to do this. Also I'm sorry if it becomes a little unclear as to how it can be done. I don't usually follow the rules of braiding and showing people how to braid if there are any, but I can do another video breaking down how to achieve a fishtail braid more similar to this one. To start off, you just part the strand of hair in two and you grab the outside of the strands and just bring them under. And for the sake of my bangs being too short and not allowing me to have enough hair as I go through the braid, I have to do a sort of Dutch braid type of look. So this will be a little confusing just because I kind of alternate between doing a regular fishtail and a Dutch braid style by grabbing more hair from the outside of the strands. So I grab a piece of hair from outside of the strand and bring it under to the left. Then I grab another piece and bring it to the right. There you go. <laughs> then I continue doing a combination of both until I feel I can finish off the braid and pin it to the back. is or what I like to do is pull off the strands a little bit just tug here and there just to make the braid look a little fuller Side note, 
please excuse the mess in the background. We are still in the process of getting our stuff together and organizing after our move. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!